Hey guys, Brian Fajoli here. Let's talk Android for a moment. Um, there's a lot of crazy things going on with Android. So, for one, sales have been pretty bad for a lot of companies, like the HTC 10, which I thought was a phenomenal phone, apparently didn't sell very well. Then you had the Note 7, which was a great phone that exploded. It was catching fire. Now we have Google releasing its own Pixel and Pixel XL, which looks like a great phone, but it concerns me that OEMs, you know, manufacturers are going to have to then compete with Google on Android. So Google is basically saying, hey, he, we, here's the best way to get Android is our phone. Why should manufacturers compete with Google? It's a very confusing time. The Pixel and the Pixel XL doesn't really excite me. There was another phone on the market that really excited me, and I have that today to unbox. This is a very exciting phone for me because the, the previous model of this phone was a sleeper hit. I feel that the LG V10 was probably the best phone last year, all-around phone. It was built like a tank. It had this little second screen. It had all these great features, but it technically wasn't like a flagship phone. A lot of um, people didn't look at it that way. It didn't get a lot of hype. It got kind of ignored. It was a sleeper hit. People that knew about the phone knew how great it was, and today... We have the follow-up phone, the LG V20. Yes, folks, the LG V20. So this is the follow-up phone to the V10. Still has the same second screen, um, but it is more powerful, has new features, different things like that. This model is the platinum color, and as you can see on the side here, it is the Verizon LTE model. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the sleeve so we can go ahead and get on the inside and take a look. So here it says, life's good when you play more. Okay, I guess you play more with the phone. Whoa. This is presentation, folks. This looks really cool. So there's the phone, but, oh wow. This is incredible. Look at the way this opens up. This is insane, folks. This, is, this shows that LG cares about this phone. So let's see what we have here. First thing, it's actually labeled. We have the AC travel adapter, which I'll open up now. And just looking at it, it is a type A port on the charger itself. Let me show you that. So there's a type A charger, standard USB charger, travel adapter it says. But here it says USB data cable. So let's take a look. Does the V20 use USB type C or type A? Let's find out. I have scissors here. Forgot that I had scissors. Handy. Now let's see. This uses, oh, exciting stuff here, folks. This uses the new USB type C, as you can see right there. So there's USB type C to USB type A. So this would plug in here, and you would charge your phone using USB type C. Now this cable is actually really nice. It's a flat Type-C cable, really, really nice. Good quality cable from LG, nice, very nice. All right, here, let's see. Up here we have, this is something exciting for some folks, including myself. There is a battery in here. Yes, the battery is replaceable, which I don't think the, L, the, um, the Pixel and the Pixel XL has. I don't think you can swap out the battery. So, wow, that's a nice size battery there. Let's see, it is 3200 mAh. So that's a nice size battery. It's a good size battery. So the battery is replaceable, and I believe you can also swap out micro SD cards, meaning you could add an inexpensive 200 gig micro SD card to the LG V20 and have like super, super capacity for storing photos and videos and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, so let's see, how do we open this up? Oh, this just pulls over, okay. We have the phone itself. Let's see what else we have. Um, I'm going to put this away, folks, because the box is now empty. And we have a little booklet that says Meet Your Phone. It's, it's actually a pretty small booklet. Meet Your Phone. All right, I'll bite. Let's meet my phone. Front camera. Let's see. It has a front camera. The second screen you can see at the top here. Second screen. That's what makes the phone really... Awesome. Uh, the back, 
Oh, that's my bird there. Uh, there's NFC touch point here. Uh, let's see, laser detection autofocus. There's a dual camera. That's awesome. On the back is power lock fingerprint ID scanner and the back cover release button. So yes, you can you know swap out the battery. Really awesome phone. Let's let's look at the phone. This is exciting stuff, folks. So it's really, really light. I don't have the battery in there, so it'll be a little heftier once I put the battery in. But let's look at the phone first before I do that. So on the bottom, we see the little speaker grill here, USB type C, microphone, and a three and a half millimeter jack, something the new iPhone does not have. I don't think that's a big deal. USB-C audio should be awesome, but you do have the older three and a half millimeter jack if you need it. On this side here, we see the battery release button, like the to take the back off. So that swaps off, you can see that comes off over there. And I'll swap in the battery momentarily. On the top, it looks like we have two more microphones, which should be really good for recording a video. It looks like there's three microphones there. Uh, also on the side, then we have two volume buttons up and down. Um, on the back, we can see the dual cameras. Really, really nice. Dual cameras, laser focus, uh, LED flash, um, Let's see, we see the V20 branding here, Verizon branding there, which I don't mind because I love Verizon. Verizon is like the best carrier, at least here on Long Island. It's the best coverage, and especially when I, when I go to Manhattan too. When I go into Manhattan, uh, Verizon just has really great coverage, great speeds. Um, I'm still unlimited data on there. I have that grandfathered in, so Verizon is just the best of the best for me, um, absolutely. So let me go ahead and put in the battery. Let's see how easy this is to come off. So there's a little button here that you press, and ooh, okay, I just want to cover up all the impertinent, the pertinent information here in the phone. So as we can see, there's the SD card slot there. There's a there's a SIM card already preloaded in here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the battery in. Let's see how that works. There we go. Now the battery is in. And again, it says life's good when you play more. I guess that's their, their mantra. This, this uh, back plate is aluminum. It feels, it feels really nice. It's cold to the touch, like aluminum. Really, really nice. Um, let's see. And to put it back on, it's kind of like a hinge, I believe. See, so yeah, like this part goes on first. And it just snaps on all the way around. It feels great in the hand. Really, really wonderful phone. Um, let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's see what the um, boot screen looks like. I'm not going to go into the phone too much, but let's go ahead and look at the boot screen. So I'm going to hold this button down in the back, and it should power on. LG, life's good, powered by Android. Let's see. Any day now. Life's good, powered by Android. And it should go, I believe, to a Verizon boot screen. Hello. Verizon. And it's a really beautiful boot screen, actually. The colors are very vibrant. Again, I love Verizon. And there's no wasted space on here. Like, there's no big chin. Like, on the... Um, it just looks really good. It's it's well designed. The, the, I find the Pixel and the Pixel XL to be a very ugly phone. I'm sure it's wonderful because it has you know updates directly from Google and everything. Um, but this phone looks much prettier. It's a much more beautiful phone. So there you go, folks. That's the phone booting up. Just a beautiful phone. Dual cameras in the back. Dual lenses, I should say, for the camera. Laser focus. It's got. Um, it's got LED flash, it's got fingerprint reader, it's got removable battery, it's got um, removable uh, micro SD card so you can upgrade the storage. Just a beautiful phone, I mean, oh. And up here we have, it says explore something new, you see at the top, that's the second screen. So up there you could have all kinds of things like um, a row of icons so you can quickly access things. It's, it's really, really cool, it's actually functional. So this phone is probably my pick right now. I haven't used it yet, but based on the LG V10, this phone is, is probably going to be phenomenal. And you can see the glass. It's just such a beautiful design. You see the glass. It's like a thick piece of glass from the screen here. 
Oh, what a phone. What a phone. USB Type-C. This is beauty, folks. This is what Android should be from a manufacturer other than Google. Wow. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer any questions. Again, this is the platinum color from Verizon. This is probably the best model that there is that it's, that's for the Verizon network. And the platinum color, I think, is the better of the two colors. I think it's the, the prettier color. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.